Bro, man, I'm telling you, man, I can kill these folks. Like, I really be fishing, bro. Like, I can do this, man. Like, I'm telling yeah, man, for <laughs> it's black fishermen. For real though, man, like, I'm gonna be like the next John B. Like, I'm straight up like tactical bassin before tactical bassin. And I'm gonna be pulling monsters out of Georgia. Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, if you don't know about me, you better ask about me. I'm coming with it, so be on the lookout, man. I'm gonna start a YouTube, bro. A million subscribers ain't nothing. I got it. But I'll catch you later, man. I gotta go, man. I gotta start filming now. <laughs> oh my God. What have I got into? Bro, can you even fish? Through plight gas fish. You can't even talk straight. <laughs> oh, I hope I can do YouTube. I don't I don't know really. We'll see. I think I can do it. Let's give it a shot. Alright, now that we got past that joke, let's get straight into it. Should you start a YouTube channel or should you not? That is the question. So let's get into the positives. First off, community. Community is humongous. This having people who have light minds, it's so much better. Try talking to somebody who doesn't like fishing for 30 minutes about fishing. They're tuning you out. But some of these guys I talk to now, man, we can talk 45 minutes, hour, hour and a half, just about fishing and about techniques. Uh, people who are gonna tell you about new things that's coming to the market. People who are invested in spending time on the water just to become a better angler. So community and feedback is huge. Of course, you're gonna have some people sometimes who are negative. But I will say the positive far outweigh them. Tips. So far I have gotten tips on things that I should improve. Perfect example would be worm fishing. I consider myself to be a pretty solid worm fisherman. But apparently through YouTube I learned that I was setting the hook too fast. And now I wait a little bit longer. Let that fish bite, swim off a little bit, and set the hook. I'm ripping lips now. So appreciate it guys. That is a good example. Another example would be recently I broke a duck at rod. I don't think it was so much the ride fault, but through YouTube, from everybody else I talked to, they said, hey man, when you flip a fish that big and you place your hand at the top of the rod, it's gonna break. And I definitely agree, guys. I was pumped, I was excited, you don't catch seven to eight pounds every day. And if I had to do it again to catch that fish, I'll probably do it again. But I will be taking my time now, so appreciate it, guys. Those are some of the pros. Another one would be, the ability to look back at your old footage and saw where you caught fish, the time frame you caught them, how was the weather that time of year. That is so cool to be able to say, hey man, I was standing right there on March the 2nd in that spot and I caught that fish on 168. To me, that is super cool to know that time frame and can go back and watch that footage. And the ability to also show my kids or my grandkids the same footage 50 to 30 years from now. That is super cool. Those to me are the biggest pros. The ability to network, the community, and being able to watch my footage and use it for the memories and also knowledge. So, let's get to the cons. So one con I would say is YouTube can be stressful. If you wanna grow your channel, you're gonna to want to at least make videos at least once a week. And a good video that's quality takes around five hours for me. And that's around a video that's seven to eight minutes. So if you're making a 20 minute video, that can be pretty extensive. Now, I also have found so far, if I put out three videos a week, my channel does way better. But if you do the math, three videos, five hours each, you get 15 hours alone in videos. That's not even including fishing. That's a whole other side of things. I mean, so you're looking at 30 hours a week just on fishing on top of your current job. And then the same token, you can have the perfect plans and everything, but you can have rain, you can have wind, you can have all kinds of elements to get in your way. Your car can break down. You can get sick. Like I said, you have to remain consistent if you want to grow your channel. Now, I know some of you guys just want to have a channel that features your content. Nothing wrong with that. It's a lot less stressful just to enjoy. But if you want to grow, you're going to have to post a lot. And it's going to have to be good content. 
Now don't get me wrong guys, so far I only have a thousand subscribers and I'm thankful, but the goal for me is 10,000 this year. And I'm gonna do everything I can to hit that number. The next thing would be camera equipment. It is expensive guys. I mean, GoPros, the Garmin Ultraver, drones, I don't have a drone yet. All these things can be expensive to you and you need to have good equipment to make great videos. So just be prepared guys, it is an expensive game to play in and I'm slowly getting better equipment as I go along. The last thing I would say is people are gonna wanna know your spots. If you're a secret person, then YouTube may not be for you. They're gonna wanna know where you fishing at and if it's public, if it's private, you're gonna have to deal with all these scenarios when you do YouTube. So I say all in all, I enjoy it. I enjoy fishing and the filming. So I would definitely recommend it to you guys if you mind those things and you like those things. So I will say, you make the decision, it's on you. And enjoy the ride. Tight lines.